So at Netflix's To Doom event, which to be honest, I still do not know what this thing is. And honestly, I can't be bothered to research it <laughs> or look it up myself because I honestly don't care. But at this event, they announced a brand new Onimusha project. We are getting an Onimusha anime, which looks really stellar. So there's no trailer so far, but they did provide screenshots and a synopsis, as well as some information on who exactly is making it. So the show itself will be created by Takashi Mike and Shinya Sugai uh, from Sublimination, who was also the studio that handled the Dragon's Dogma anime. And we will have a brand new protagonist, so no Semenosuke, no Jubei. The main character will be Musashi Miyamoto, who is modeled after the late Japanese actor Toshihiro Mifune, who was known for having a lot of Japanese samurai films. Who It's a tradition that Capcom has really kept with the Onimusha franchise, where they model their main character after a Japanese actor. They did it with Semenosuke, and they did it with Jubei. And then, of course, in the third Onimusha game, they actually had John Renault come in and be the uh, actual base design for that character in the third game. So as of right now, there is not a release date. However, Netflix did provide a synopsis for the show itself, which is pretty exciting to read. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be stellar. The beginning of the Edo period, Musashi is no longer a young man. He departs with the legendary Oni Gauntlet to defeat the Genma. 3D CGI characters and hand-drawn backgrounds create phenomenal visuals. Onimusha is given a new life using modern day animation technology. End of quote. So this is really cool, man. This is exciting. I'm a big Onimusha fan. I think the only Onimusha games I didn't play were Blade Warriors, primarily because I could never find it in my area. And then the fourth Onimusha game, which was, uh, I think, Dawn of Dreams or Dawn of Destinies. It's starting to sound like Kingdom Hearts titles here. <laughs> but I didn't play that one because as far as I could remember, it had no relation to the previous games. And I was all about Semenosuke and Jubei <laughs> in the Onimusha trilogy. I really loved those characters. So they did provide some screenshots four of them actually which well, I know there's a lot of people out there who don't really care for 3d anime but uh, the most recent one I saw was the Tekken anime which uh, looked really good other than the really distracting triangle shadows uh, that, <laughs> that you saw on every single character but this one definitely looks many steps up above what Tekken was the actual uh, animation is probably gonna look beautiful but these still images look fantastic so we actually see Musashi fighting what looks like a Genma that has taken human form which is interesting uh, I'm wondering if there's gonna be a combination of actual Genma demons in this anime and then there's gonna be the Genma human forms that we see maybe we'll get some really cool uh, samurai action sequences where the Genma are actually fighting in a samurai battle against uh, Musashi uh, in that image there's the Oni gauntlet we can see he's wearing it and there is a, a blue orb on there so I'm not sure if that's gonna be the standard design for the eye on the orb itself or maybe he's got that thunder magic equipped um, so it's gonna be really cool to see if he can transition between his weapons like he can in the games there's a really beautiful close-up shot of Musashi which looks fantastic and it looks like they've actually got some high quality shadows <laughs> on his character unlike what we saw in Tekken there's a ghost of Tsushima style shot where we see the backside of Musashi as he's just staring off into the distance with some fog and then finally we get an image of Musashi fighting uh, what I'm assuming is a human it doesn't appear to have the only gauntlet on in this image so this could be before he actually obtains the gauntlet and actually sets out on his journey so it's going to be really interesting to see how he comes across the oni gauntlet and why he's doing what he's doing is this a revenge tale is he protecting his home uh, seeing all of that unfold is going to be really really exciting so while it is a little bit of a bummer that we aren't getting a new oni musha game a lot of times companies will put media out there to gauge interest on a property capcom did this with the dragon's dogma anime and look where Dragon's Dogma is at now. <laughs> it's the most popular it's ever been and they're working on a sequel. And the anime itself from what I read was actually really well received and it looked like it was pretty high quality. So this could be a similar situation for Onimusha where Capcom is working with Netflix to create this anime. And if it does well enough, maybe cross your fingers, we can get a brand new Onimusha game, maybe even based off of this character. So maybe the show could act as a prequel to a future Onimusha game we could get later on. So other than the remaster, we got in 2019 Onimusha has 
pretty much remain dormant. So with the announcement of this anime, it's really exciting and I'm really crossing my fingers here that this could be the start of a revival for the franchise. A lot of people have been asking for a sequel or something Onimusha related. So with this anime, cross your fingers and let's hope that maybe this will lead to a game in the near future. So that is the video. I'm Curious Corduroy. Please leave any of your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about this Onimusha anime? Are you excited and do you hope that this will eventually lead to a brand new game? I will see you guys in the next video and please remember to always be excellent to one another.